एमके प्रकाश और के नेशनल प्रोफेसर इन द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग द लेक्चर सीरीज ऑफ द सोलर एनर्जी यू हैव डिस्कस अबाउट द कंसंट्रेटिंग कैरेक्टर्स नॉन कंसंट्रेटिंग कैरेक्टर्स यू हैव सीन द प्रिंसिपल्स ऑफ पैराबोलिक ट्रप सिस्टम फ्लैट फ्लैट कैरेक्टर्स एंड देन पैराबोलिक डिस्क कैरेक्टर्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द पैराबोलिक ट्रप कंसंट्रेटर्स बेस्ड ऑन द एप्लीकेशन ऑफ सोलर पावर प्लांट्स ओके नाउ कमिंग टू द सॉरी सो what is happening in this diagram so this is a projectile okay when the projectile is projected it is going like this so this shape is called as a parabolic shape okay can you tell me what is this by seeing this so this is a wood or a wood or a made of a stone where the surface is curved and there is a hollow area so what is the purpose of this so what is the purpose let us see so this is a collector so this is a parabolic shape okay so this is a parabolic shape and this is a trough to store the water so our topic today is parabolic trough concentrators okay so this is our topic so now so we can see this there is glasses many glasses are there so there is this is a trough system as we discussed in the earlier we have seen the parabolic trough systems so there are lot of troughs are available and all it is connected with the inlet pipes where the fluid is going inside okay here the sun rays okay the sun rays are falling on the x surface so the rays are falling on here this solar radiation is absorbed by using this system trough system so what is the purpose of observing the solar radiation is to heat the fluid see here there are pipes the pipes are used to the water is flowing or the fluid is flowing through this pipes this fluid is getting heated and again there is a tracking system in this as we discussed in the previous slide there is a tracking system and then all the pipes which is passing through this are connected through this uh, tracking systems okay and all the uh, pipes are concentrated okay so this is the working as we have already discussed in the previous slide the sun rays is falling on the reflecting surface there is a parabolic shape and there is a tracking mechanism where it receives the so this is a linear focus concentrator a low cost csp option the output to it temperature is 500 degree celsius so this is very very important here the operating range is up to 500 degree celsius whereas in the non concentrated temperature is around only 250 degree celsius or one at 200 degree celsius where it is around 500 degree celsius so why this is curved like an parabola now so the amount of solar radiation is falling on the x axis but the utilization of this solar energy has to be made possible with the same amount of time so how this is made possible okay so this is made possible with the help of this parabolic trough principle okay see here these are solar field this is called as a solar field this complete solar field okay there are piping there are pipings are made available okay so what is the use of this pipings is the fluid which is to be heated is passing through this inlet pipe and then the fluid is passing towards the inlet pipe so now what happens is this observer tube will absorb the heat and then it is getting heated so all the heating uh, fluid is coming outside in a single outlet so this is the way by which the fluid can be heated so here the sun rays are focused on the receiver and the observer tube is located at the focal point here so this is called as the focal point so this is 330 to 100 times more than the normal intensity when you are using normally a heating this is more than 30 to 100 times okay now coming to the parabolic trough system where this parabolic trough system is utilized 
a variable is used in the real time. So here, this is the parabolic drop system, which is more than 600 uh, meters in length. We can use 600 meter when the tubes are made of metal absorber plate and the drops can be located. So here, a synthetic oil is passed through this. Okay, synthetic oil is passed through this, and the temperature is around 400 degree Celsius. Okay. So as the synthetic oil is passing through this, you because of this parabolic drop system through this receiver, it is getting heated by the solar radiation. So when it is getting heated, what happens is this particular uh, fluid can be used to replace to run the turbine and then power to produce the power. Okay, and also we can store this heated fluid in a storage tanks. Okay. After replacing this heat, the coming outside fluid has no heat. Okay, it comes as a fluid. Again, this fluid is coming here. This steam is condensed. So again, this fluid is coming here when it is getting heated, it just evaporated. So this principle is continuously is used to produce the So this is one of the uh, real-time application of the parabolic drop system. Okay. So here. This is the, in the solar power plants we are using to increase the solar intensity and produce the power. So this is about the parabolic uh, system. Thank you.